I've been using AutoCAD for years for architecture projects, but every time I use an existing drawing, my dimensions always come on a wrong text size. Sometimes really, really tiny for the text size. My line of set from the origin are way wrong. My arrows and so on. I have to go through each setting on my dimensions, reassigning the values manually, which takes ages. Anyway, also my changes are never ever present when I open another drawing which I think it makes sense because my dimension style doesn't exist on this drawing. But is there a way to somehow load any drawing with my preferred dimension style already present? Yes, the lazy dim style command can help you do that. Let's see how we can do it. All right, let's create your awesome lazy dim style command. And the way we're gonna do it is first, we need to create a dimension style, right? We only need one dimension style. So the way I'm gonna do it is, I'm gonna open a brand new drawing, uh, go in here on the AutoCAD icon and clear, click new drawing. So for this, I'm gonna pick the tutorial I arch template that's for Imperial architecture, but you can pick the one that you need, Imperial metric um, and so on. So I'm gonna open that. The reason why I'm opening this is because I need a brand new drawings um, to create my dimension style. So over here, I'm gonna type the dim system variable to open my dimension style dialog box so once I do that you can see that I have only one standard dimension what I'm gonna do is create a brand new so I'm gonna click new and then I'm gonna remain rename this um, a lazy architecture in style again you can rename this uh, as you wish but that's the name that i'm gonna give it and for this specific example it's not gonna be an annotated so we don't need to check that and i'm gonna click continue so over here uh, i'm just gonna change a few things this is a personal preference so for the lines over here what i'm gonna change is the color to uh, magenta uh, so I can see better that's what I like to do the rest by block it's fine uh, I like to change my extend beyond six to ticks to one eighth an inch and then my baseline I like to have it at three eighths of an inch again this is a personal preference uh, that's what works best for me and then for the extension line color I like to have it uh, to show lighter uh, I'm gonna change it to color 9 and then click OK like so and finally for my fixed length extensions I'm gonna change it um, because I like to have it at 11 30 seconds of an inch like so all right so next for my again we're creating a dimension style really quick uh, before we proceed to show you our lazy dim style command okay so i'm doing this very quick because uh, this is not about creating a dimension styles but i'm showing you still some of the settings that i use for my dimensions if you want to follow alone or you might pick your own preference, your own colors, right? That's very personal um, on each of you. So again, uh, we modify some of the line properties. 
Now what I'm gonna do is modify some of the text uh, properties. Over here for the text style, this is a personal preference again. I like to use Verdana, it's not showing here. So what I'm gonna do is simply for now click OK, uh, like so, and then click close. So I'm gonna go on my drawing that I have and the Verdana text exists on this drawing is this one over here if you can see it on the proper in the quick property this is a verdana style so what i'm gonna do is simply use Control c to copy that and then go back and paste uh, my verdana text over here and now if i open the dimsty or the dimension style manager and of course i select my lazy dim style that i'm creating and then click modify. So what happened is now that I, when I go to text, I will see the Verdana style. That's the one that I like to use. Again, this is a personal preference. And then for the text color, it's I like to have it by layer. Um, and then for the text height, 330 seconds, that's correct. You could also use 1 eighth of an inch, depending if you use uh, plenty of notes on your plans or drawings so but 330 seconds it works for me and then for the fit option uh, what i like to have here is change the scale for dimensions to use an overall scale of 96 um, and then that is based on our scale chart that we always use on this channel which is this one over here so again at 330 seconds um sorry at 330 seconds over here that's uh, the notes for the standard notes you could also pick one eighth so that's again a personal preference if you have plenty of notes on your drawings i recommend to use this if you don't have plenty of notes you can use one eighth, which is a little bigger. Um, all right, so let's get moving uh, to quickly finish this dimension style and uh, be able to create our awesome lazy dim style command. All right, so um, that's pretty much it for the uh, primary units. Uh, well, for the primary units, uh, architectural works for me. Uh, again, I work on architectural projects but again, that's all up to you. The precision, I like to have it at zero, com uh, zero inches, sorry, zero feet, zero inches. And here I like to have it at one inch. I don't like, well, on the office where I work, they don't like to show half of an, half of an inch uh, dimension. So that's why we round it to one inch. That depends on your office and on your personal preferences. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to click OK and here we, go. here we go. That's the Lazy Architecto Dim Style. We keep quickly created and went over. So what I'm going to do is set that current by clicking here and click close. All right. So now I can simply draw a dimension and place it like so and like that. All right. So that's our uh, new dimension style with the lazy architecto dim style as you can see it here on the quick property and what i'm gonna do now is in order to um, erase all of the other dimensions like we can see over here uh, we have plenty of dimensions that we don't need so i'm gonna copy this using Control c and then create a brand new drawing uh, using the again the imperial architecture template and i'm gonna paste it over here with Control v okay so now when i open the dimension style manager you can see that uh, we only have two dimensions we can set our um, the one that we just created set current and then we can delete the other dimension with the delete key on my keyboard and say yes. 
So that's what we want. We need a drawing with only one dimension style, the one that we're gonna use to create our dim, uh, our lazy dim style command. So I'm gonna close here, and that's pretty much what we need. At this point, I'm gonna save this drawing using the Control S shortcut on my keyboard, and then I'm gonna save this somewhere on my uh, over here. Of course, you will save it on the folder um, that you uh, can remember. I'm gonna save it here on this folder that I created called Dim Style. So I'm gonna save it over here. So I'm gonna um, rename it, of course, and I'm gonna say uh, LA Dim Style, like so, okay? So of course I already created before, but I'm gonna click Save and say yes. So once I do that, I can close this app because I don't need it anymore. Um, so I'm gonna close and of course this drawing I don't need it again I'm gonna simply close it and say no because we already saved our dimension style to a drawing and we are ready to create our lazy dim style which is great it's gonna save you so much time so we're gonna do it the traditional way open the CUI uh, and pressing enter and at this point, um, there are a couple of ways to create a new command. You can click the star icon over here to create a command, or you can duplicate any of the existing commands. So I'm gonna click this star icon like so. And once I do that, I can rename my command, of course, and it's gonna be the lazy beam style command. So um, what's next, of course, you can pick any icon here. I'm just gonna randomly pick this one. Again, uh, you can pick or find the icon that you uh, wanna use. And then uh, what we need to do next is, of course, please apply. And then we're gonna select our new command, lazy dim style, and using the left click on our mouse I'm gonna click and hold it and move it all the way up here on the quick property uh, on the quick access panel and I'm gonna release it like so you can see the lazy dim style is right there so we can access it anytime and now what we need to do is change the macro code all right so let's click these three points over here like so and then we are going to start adding some code to create this command and um, ended that with a semicolon that represents an enter. Let's double check that. So insert laser detector server dropbox team style dwg and yes we can see that it, this is wrong because let me open my um windows explorer folder and you can see that the folder is called dim style but the file is called la dim style right so that's the mistake that i'm doing <laughs> but uh, we found it so let's quickly fix that so how i'm gonna fix it is again the file name is la dim style 
So what I'm gonna do here is um, add this uh, and then uh, the file name again was LA Dim Style. Okay, so I'm gonna do here LA Dim Style and then that EWG that's correct. All right, so that was the mistake that we did before. So let's uh, make sure that match again the folder and just dim style that's the folder and then the file is la dim style dwg la dim style dwg all right so this should work 100 percent so let's click ok apply and then click ok and let's test it so i'm gonna open a drawing like so the architectural arch that's okay i'm gonna open that template and of course here if i um, draw a dimension you can see that our dimension comes very very tiny because again our dimension style doesn't exist on this drawing so you can see that the dimension style is standard that's the one that is been using but again if we use our brand new l lazy dim style we click on it and of course we need to pick our uh, scale factor based on our viewport scale um, using the chart that uh, we provided in uh, past tutorials and i just show you and again for the dim scale let's say i'm using my viewport 64 like so once i create a brand new dimension uh, you can see that it will come on the correct settings for my dimension because it's now using the lazy architecto dim style or the style that you previously set right and the beauty of this is that it came on the correct layer a anno dims the text came in the correct size i'm going to explode it for that using the regular explode command and you can see that the text size is six inches and then if we go and double check that with our scale factor chart we set it to 64 um, and for that we can see that our notes is six inches which match perfectly to the size of our dimension isn't that great as always thanks to these friends who support my work you can Keep saving time in AutoCAD. Just click the video on your screen and I see you on this next lesson.